after the pandemic we were expecting and we were waiting for a good cricket by other teams uh, in the uh, big matches in the international cricket and in the leagues we were uh, expecting and we were waiting for the big games for big scores big runs big 50 big half centuries plus big hundreds big sixes we were waiting for them uh, about a uh, half year we were waiting for them but how it started it started with a big hitters i can't believe that the match the match today we were in, I don't want to waste your time and we'll start the video with that word that impressive batting by the West Indian team today we'll discuss the match about West Indies and Sri Lanka's second T20 international first T20 we will talk about the first T20 international so without wasting your time starting the video my name is Sajid and I welcome you all to the only cricket live youtube channel so starting with the pure batting by the West Indian teams and pure bowling but what happened in the first t20 international we will discuss it in this video so starting with that point that uh, when uh, sri lankan team started the batting they were looking good in the start but they slowly slowly they kept down with their batting orders they kept down with their scoring low scoring by uh, the uh, sri lankan team they just to get uh, only 130 plus so it was a very low score by them they can do a good score in the first t20 international but they were new on the pitch so they decided to not go for a big big hits and they will play simple way of gaming but what happened they just lost the wickets they did nothing all out only for 130 plus it was a low score for them so what happened in the next innings you all know if you don't know so now you know because a big time and a big thing happened in the second innings we witnessed some good bowling we witnessed some good batting and we witnessed some records and we witnessed some hat tricks wow wow amazing amazing we witnessed everything in this match only in this match i can see that because after many years the records are setting their pumps up so we think that it was amazing so we were talking about uh, the bowler the bowler for the team sri lanka the first bowler uh, sorry for the third bowler for the sri lankan teams who uh, claimed the hat trick for them in the t20s so it's a good achievement for him and good achievement for the sri lankan team but what happened next uh, at the start in the first over uh, amir lewis hit it three sixes three sixes in the starting over they were going big in the start they were just want, they just wanted to finish the game in just 10 overs or in uh, 7 8 9 overs they were trying their big they were playing like just to try to hit the ball every ball they were hitting but now the question is that uh, when they were going for the big hits uh, uh, first uh, lendl uh, simmons was playing also good and uh, amon is got out then what happened next uh, chris gale came on the strike but he was also gone on the lpw so on the last one the third wicket of nicolas puran got out and it was a hat trick for tananjay but when pollard came out on the uh, uh, sorry for the when pollard came out on the pitch it was just like amazing i can't just imagine how first the match was going very boring boring i was thinking that this match will be not good as uh, usual because uh, that was not a big scoring game it was just a short game that we know that the one sided game it will be but when dananjaya gets a hat trick and the match turns out we were expecting that the match will do good but then on the next over of dananjaya six sixers in over by pollard he just equals the racket of harshal gabs yuvraj singh and he just did it amazingly batting by him he was just going and going big sixers by him poor bowling by dhananjay he bowls good in the first his uh, first two overs he was good with the ball he takes a hat trick but he just missed his line and length in the second and third over so for the third over he left his uh, strength of bowling skills everything he losses and uh, started the poor bowling spell 
and six sixers by Pollard. He just makes his uh, turn, and that's why he's the captain of a uh, West Indies team now. Then they were they were just going and going. When Pollard got out, we were thinking that the match will be in pressure because two and two wickets were gone. But then uh, we were nothing we because we know that west indian teams have all the all rounders in their team 11 players they have 11 players all are all rounders they can play very big so that was the first t20 analysis we hope that you liked it the second t20 international highlight will be uploaded soon on this channel so what you have to do just subscribe to the channel wait for the highlight and see you soon in other video